is Liz Head. I'm a professor and vice chair for research in the Department of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine at UCI. And I'm going to describe to you today TDP43 pathology and Down syndrome and Alzheimer's disease. Down syndrome is associated with increased production of the amyloid precursor protein due to the extra copy of chromosome 21. And this leads to a very early age of onset of Alzheimer's disease. By the time a person with Down syndrome is in their 30s, we start to see that the accumulation of beta amyloid plaques is shown here in this age series of autopsy cases, looking at the frontal lobes. And when we look at just across the age spectrum, the number of people who are affected by both senile plaques and neurofibrillary tangles increases exponentially with age after the age of 30 until by the age of 40, most people with Down syndrome with full trisomy 21 have sufficient AD pathology for that final diagnosis. Here's an image showing those plaques and tangles uh, from a person in their 40s who died with Down syndrome. In 2009, there was an, the initial report of TDP43 pathology and Down syndrome from Carol Lippa and John Trojanowski, where they characterized a, a case series of 14 people with Down syndrome ranging in age from 26 to 67 years, and identified only that two people were positive for TDP43 in the uh, amygdala, and uh, only one of these was positive for TDP43 in the hippocampus. And this one individual was 61 years of age. Uh, the second individual, I couldn't figure out quite the age of that person, but at least this uh, person was at, on the much older age spectrum for, for uh, Down syndrome. Then in 2011, uh, David Mann in the United Kingdom published a larger case series of 41 people with Down syndrome over the age of 30 years who had varying degrees of AD neuropathology. But of this case series, again, only three people were identified as being TDP43 positive within the hippocampus and temporal cortex. And their ages were 54, 59, 61 years of age, respectively. Then just a month ago, uh, a new paper came out from Thomas Fisneski's group uh, describing another case series of 33 people with Down syndrome, 26 to 72 years of age, where they looked for TDP43 pathology in the amygdala. And again, only three people were positive and they were age 59, 61 and 65 years of age. So you can see a really interesting pattern kind of evolving here. Dr. Lorena Sorda, a postdoc here in our lab, uh, has been looking at TDP43 pathology and its prevalence in our cohort here at UCI. And these cases came from the Alzheimer's Biomarker Consortium uh, for Down syndrome, from our ADRC, and also from the University of Kentucky um, aging cohort uh, in a study that was co-led with myself and Dr. Fred Schmidt. And in our 27 cases, ranging in age from 40 to 71 years of age, we observed that only four people were positive for TDP in the amygdala. Three of those, three of them were positive for intrarenal and inferior temporal cortex. But so far, none have shown any TDP43 in the cortex. So, and as you can see here from the staging, these were all people who had died with end stage disease. So when you pull all these data together, uh, these four studies I've described, out of 115 cases um, of people with Down syndrome, only 12 showed uh, evidence for TDP43 pathology. So we're looking at about a 10% rate. Most of the cases that were positive were over the age of 55 years. And this seems to be far lower than what we might predict based on just normal aging. Um, I've seen reports between 20 and 40% positivity for TDP43. And it leads us to the question of whether or not TDP43 pathology or late um, is a significant impact for aging and people with Down syndrome. Uh, we don't have enough people really to make comparisons about whether that impacts cognition in any way that's different. And it, it also raises the question about whether or not uh, lower TDP levels in people with Down syndrome is related to their younger ages and death, or some additional potential factors on chromosome 21 that are protective. So we look forward to studying this in a little bit more detail in the future. Thank you.